down the line, he's got... Oh, he's got a heck of a set of cojones. These people are out for blood for retarded reasons, and he's put himself in the way of them. You know, he's putting himself in, uh, you know, in the way of danger, trying to protect people. I don't think he even has a weapon on him. And this guy's got, you know, Spike's mace. You know, he's he's got major cojones. you got to give it to him. So what'll it be, innkeeper? They killed my son. Damned elves. I want their blood for that. Well, did these particular elves do it? If not, you can feck off. These elves had nothing to do with your son's death. Don't shed their blood. Now that you mention it, yeah, leave them be. Go home, folks. Thank you, Gwynblade. We'd be dead if not for you. The sooner we flee, the better. Take care. Who opened the gates of hell? I don't have any proof, but my coin's on Lorito. Rulers are always looking for a way to cover their mistakes and failures. And the mob always loves a circus, whether merry or bloody. This town will never be the same. A time of disdain has come. People love saying that, dammit. How did the rioting start? They say it's revenge for those soldiers who died following Roach. But they were just thugs on Lorito's pay. Almost no one misses them. Spontaneous riot my ass. Lorito's staying out of it, keeping his hands clean. But his thugs are inciting the mob. I've seen several soldiers in civilian garb leading it. But you won't find any proof against the Commandant. I don't intend to. Yeah. Still, there's areas of Lorito's manor that's been blocked off from us. I imagine we're not going to leave here without seeing them. Why don't the guards do anything? Why would they? The squirrels slaughtered their cronies, and Lorito hasn't given them any orders. <sighs> True enough. We need to find Triss. Last I saw her, she was on her way to meet Sheila in her rented quarters at the inn. I told Triss about the megascope Zoltan's been building. Let's go. There's no time to lose. I was lucky enough to get the key to Sheila's nest. Incidentally, for a big woman, the innkeeper's wife is surprisingly nimble. <laughs> I gotta love Dandelion. Like, seriously. I was... Uh. <laughs> Wanna dance, white teddy? Oh, Christ, the guy down here is dead. Don't know who the feck you are, but you're dead. This guy's dead. We have seen forgive us. You're dead. I can't remember who you are. Maybe a boxer? Oh, you got hung. Store items. That was the brothel itself. Spot. Oh Christ, what are we gonna find? What? Bloody hell. Um, Christ. That, that is kind of horrific. Let's get out of here. Uh, let's go try and go find the. Um, hold on, I'm just going to store some items. Um, crafting. Toss the yin, yin. Nah, those can stay. Let's get rid of the... Hmm. 
There we go. Just to give us some more space to work with. Just curious, has the bloodshed spread to these other rooms? No, this room seems okay. It's kind of annoying how he kind of, you know, auto goes through the doors because. Um, you know, when, like, remember the stealthing thing, it doesn't work out well. Slaughterhouse. Um, the auto going through doors thing just can really fuck you over. What sort of freak is that? It's that sorcerer. Leave them alone. They've done you no harm. Right, they're our neighbors. Let's go home, lads. Thank you. I just about felt the blades chill between my ribs. You've done them no harm. Why are they so... Mobs always need a scapegoat after defeat. Take care of yourselves. The trading post is still boiling. Uh, I, I had a run around town before. Well, actually, I did just in this recording. I forgot. Um, I did it in the previous thing, and there's no, um, there's no one else you can save. Got a bad feeling about this. I just hope Chris is all right. Oh, that's not looking good. Not good. I already said that. Don't just stand there. We need to look for clues. Oh, here's this guy again. Sheila's bodyguard. His neck's broken. No wounds. Hmm? So that's not his blood. And Just who broke his neck? Breaks the guard's neck. Then wounds herself? That's stupid. <laughs> Indeed. And I just walked through a chair. What a mess. Somebody had a good time in here. Trashed everything. I don't get it. Someone else had to be here. Dandelion, look. What is it? A peephole. Someone might have been spying. The brothel's behind that wall. Maybe the madam saw what happened. Let's go. I, um... Was trying to look for that before, but I, I, I'm from the brothel side, but I couldn't see it. Uh, it was very strange. Stay away from me. So, yeah. Come on, in you go. Yeah, I don't know why I couldn't, um, so I'm going to actually stop for a second. Yeah, I don't know why it wasn't there previously. It's kind of annoying. But, uh, maybe you could see only see it from Sheila's side, and it's less noticeable here. I'm not sure. BRB. Hello, hello, folks, and I'm back. I'm nearly f fully caught up here on, you know, what I did last time. And, but though, saying that, I'm going to actually have to head to bed soon. It's gone 11. Um, norm, I've been trying to be awake during the day, and if I record for too long, then I'll be going to bed later, and I'll be waking up later, meaning I'll be able to, before, you know, I'm tired tomorrow night, I'll be able to stay up a little bit later, and gradually I'll end up being asleep during the day again. So, uh, well, that does mean I'll be recording more. I don't really want, to, I want to stay awake during the day. Loku, loku, loku. Uh, Loku Oku Okui. Okui Dokui recording Lokui. Let us. Wait. Loku Oku Oku Okui. It's just. The reason I'm so paranoid right now and keep doing this is. I've had such issue with this, I'm waiting for something else to go wrong. So. Uh, you're gonna have to bear with my. bear with my paranoia for a moment. Loku Oku Okui. Okui Dokui recording Lokui. Line across. Line across. Up. Left. Right. Up, line across, up, left, right, up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Open this. Let me just make sure you vision. You don't right now. Okay, went back into which room saving. Yes, you have vision. Beautiful. 
It's always handy to know if you can actually see the game. Come back later. We're closed. They've killed one of my girls. It's Deray, Geralt. That was her room. What happened? They murdered her. Yesterday, they loved her, drank wine with her, told her she's pretty. Today, five of them came, drunk on blood, screaming filth. She had a client at the time? No, she was with me. What are you looking at? I was consoling her. I was hoping you knew what happened in the next room. I noticed a peephole. But if you were busy... We were, until we heard voices beyond the wall. Schiller normally cast spells that blocked both sight and sound. But there was nothing like that this time. We started peeping. Me first. I saw that redhead, Tristan Merigold, and Cedric, our drunkard ex-squirrel. The redhead approached the magic mirror and said, let's see who our ice queen's been talking to recently. She meant Sheila. Even I figured that out. She waved her hands, shouted an incantation, and a man appeared in the room, mighty ugly. Darai was so scared, she squealed. When I finally got Darai out of the way, a different figure was in the room. A woman, Triss, called Philippa. Greetings, Philippa. Hmm? Triss, you're looking nice. Why are you using Sheila's megascope? I can't believe she approved it. That's like using her toothbrush. Sheila's oblivious to it. So we can ask her three quest uh three of these four questions. I'm gonna go with the three I asked previously. Also, it seems Cedric was the one who broke the guy's neck. Or maybe he's trying to patch the guy up. He's probably the one who broke the guy's neck. Huh. What did Sheila want from you? Isn't it obvious? Two northern rulers have perished. We've been thinking on these developments. Tamaria is in chaos and I lost my position. There goes the effort we put into building peace. What's your intention? What has the Lodge decided? I mean, it was created to protect the interests of magic. We'll adjust to the new order and make use of this situation. Five years of my work wasted? The peace of Sintra hangs by a thread, and Tamaria will plunge into civil war any day now. There's nothing to use. We need to find those responsible and dispense justice. Calm down. Two things should be partaken cold. Sorrel soup and politics. Calculate, and don't let your emotions lead you. We can't resurrect Foltest, so stop playing the Avenger. We'll proceed wisely and deliberately. We'll use the situation, understand? At least help me clear the Witcher's name. Triss, stop thinking with your vagina and get a hold of yourself. The Witcher will manage. Um, she, I, I love how sure she is that they can use the situation. It might be actually useful to actually try and, you know... Depending on who's basically coming into power, there's, as we've already seen, there's some people who don't trust sorceresses. So, how can you use the situation when they don't trust you? Say, if they set about trying to get rid of you, they may be certain, oh, we're powerful. So, we're sorcerers. You know? So, yeah. Might be actually useful to, you know... Confirm whether these punches can be rolled with, or do you have to get a few jabs of your own in? I presume she's doing that herself. It's just she's so goddamn s so sure that just ugh, that you know I'm not going to give her any credit. Do you think the girl Saskia the Dragon Slayer? Legend has it she killed a dragon. Can she oppose Hansel's might? It won't be easy, but she's already accomplished miracles. So, war is inevitable. Hensult can't be reasoned with. Why did Sheila come to Flotsam? It's a delicate matter. 
We need someone at Henselt's court, but he hates sorceresses. I know. Henselt's only son died in a hunting accident three years ago. The king has failed to sire more offspring, in spite of trying incessantly. Sheila claims she can heal the king's forty apparatus, but needs very rare ingredients. Which she intends to harvest from the Cairn. Exactly. This way a sorceress will have the king's ear again. That's all I know, really. Dandelion. Any idea who Philippa is? Philippa Eilhart, sorceress counselor to King Radovid of Redania. A grand mistress of the world's most fetid cuisine, politics. She's amoral in a crystalline way, so devoid of conscience that she's a phenomenon. Rumor is she's out of favor at the Redanian court, which, if true, she probably arranged herself in order to leave the capital. Uh, Dandelion and Grot have also met her. I, on the... Uh two occasions for Dandelion, one for Groth at the very least. I, I only read one book that, of the Witcher books that she turned up in. Well, I read, I don't maybe one, two of the Witcher books and she only appeared in one of them. I, maybe I did only read one regardless. And in the... So I don't know if she turned up in, in any of the later on books. Did she disappear from the rest of the series? What happened there? But, um... Uh, when Dandelion was going to Oxenford, he was being trailed by some Secret Service people. They aren't really good at hiding. Uh, it's a chronic thing throughout all of them. They're really fucking, you know, moronic. It's a chronic condition. They, it's what happens when you hire from uh, hire from the uh, Forrest Gump School of Espionage. Um, but anyway, D Dandelion leaves them trail after him and he meets a medical student at Oxenford he, that he knows. He teaches there. Uh, not medicine but uh, you know he's barred he teaches that. But he knows the student anyway. He pretends that they're acquaintances uh, that you know, I think he leans in for a kiss that kind of thing. He gets her to bring a message to Grolt. I think that was actually meant to be um, the lady from the first game. I think that was, like, Shawnee. I think that's meant to be her. I don't think she's named in the book. But, um, he... And actually, yeah, I t think they make reference in the uh, first game that Dandelion interrupted them. And the... But I'll get to that in a second. Afterwards, Dandelion is caught by the, the agents. He keep, kept walking elsewhere. He had, earlier before he met uh, the lady thought of d ducking into a brothel to his trail of them, but he didn't. He had uh, other stuff to do. Um, but anyway, he was going over a bridge or down an alley, and there was two other guys at the end of it, so he had to go meet the spy master for Redania. Um, some really high-tier guy. He's... I, there's some saying about him. I can't remember what it was. It's some about the sun. You know, if he says something's wrong with the sun, you should start worrying. Um, but I can't remember what the phrasing of it. But um, he, he's in meeting with him and Philippa. He's come some Philippa about her age, but, you know, like how old she looks. But points that with sorceresses, it's impossible to be sure. Then with... Uh, Afterwards, he escapes back to where Grolt, Grolt is. He tries to be stealthy. Then he ran across a bit of rooftop. And he makes his way to where Grolt and Shawnee are getting it on. He f forces that to come to a, uh, an abrupt end. And he tells Grolt. Then Philippa appears in the window. Grolt ends up in a scuffle. Not with her, but with some other mooks afterwards. And then Philippa appears once more. So... Um, and that's the end of I've seen of her. So, yeah. It's, um... So, Grold has met her before, as has Dandelion. Um... But obviously, Grold doesn't remember her.